But before they come out, I think we need to welcome them to the stage. I want to hear everybody. Let's chant Pirates together. Pirates. 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 All right, one of your crew members, ladies and gentlemen, playing Marty. You guys excited for this? Yeah. I went and saw it at the premiere, and um, you're gonna love it. Get your, make sure you have your 3D glasses on. This is the crud of the crowd. It rivals right up there with P1, so uh, you're gonna love it. Hi, baby. Shh. All right. Well, I want to bring out our composer, Jeffrey Zanelli. get out here with the fans, so that's what's, this is like a real treat for me. I, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. So I've got, I've got a question I've been dying to ask you. Uh, how did you both come to this project? Obviously, we're both involved with the first films, uh, but what was different about this one? How did you kind of re-kickstart it again? Uh, well, for me, I was um, in between projects, and uh, Penny Rose called and said, Monty. Can you, can you come down for a fitting? And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, Marty, they're doing Pirates 5. Have they, call, have they not called you yet? I'm like, no, but where do you need me to be? I'm right there. <laughs> <laughs> so I was there in a minute, and here we are. So it's exciting to be back, you know. I missed the last one, was busy, and uh, it was a great movie, but I think 5 is right up there with uh, Pirates 1. So I know they're gonna enjoy it. Well, I worked on all of the first four Pirates movies on the music with Hans Zimmer. And, uh, this time around, yeah, I know. I mean, really. Did, how many of you have had a sword fight with that music in your head? I'm just really real. uh, It's so great. So I was involved in all of those, and then once uh, Pirates 5 was coming around, we had new directors and uh, Jerry Bruckheimer, and they all just called me in. And in fact, Hans sat down with us all, and we just kicked it off right away. We're like, this is going to be great. We're going to some great new places. And I know what to do with the old legacy music, and you're going to hear um, a little bit of both tonight. Yeah. So, something that might be interesting is there, there might be a little bit of like an electric sound, something like an there electric is. guitar. How does that play? Almost an electric guitar. Okay, it's an electric cello. I was going to say that. I was going to say that. <laughs> and it's so obvious. No, we, you, you got to torture the cello every once in a while. And really what it is, is you all know Jack Sparrow's music is played on a cello, but just one. And Salazar's music tonight is played on an army of electric and acoustic cellos, so he's like outnumbering our little hero. And we're gonna see how he gets out of it. Very cool. I love Salazar. He's oh, man. great. We've never had a bad guy wow. like that. Oh, he's so amazing. Great. So, Marty, what what was it like uh, for this film? How did it compare to working on the earlier ones? Specifically, like filming on chips and things. Well, you know, it's funny because like the first one, I was telling Jeff, uh, where's my? Well, he didn't have to do this back on P1, but. On the first one, we were on a flat barge with a, the black pearl built around it. And imagine 14 to 16 hour days on a barge with a set built around it with two porta potties and like 500 <laughs> cast and crew members. So, you know, no hot lunch uh, and two porta potties out at like six, seven miles out to sea with the swells are going and people getting seasick and. You know, and I'm very, I'm really bad with, with roller coasters and everything else, so I was first to the, to the, to the side of the boat all the time. But either that or you were on um, drama me, you know, so you would be, but then you're, it's like, actually, you act and then it like cut and then <laughs> <laughs> stupid, so. But this one, I mean, they've come so far and now, um, Johnny, let me tell you, we, we pretty much did all of this on, on stages and on, on uh, sets and gimbals and uh, 
barely even touched the water in this one. Movie magic at its yeah. finest, right? <laughs> yeah. And we were in Australia for seven to eight months, so it was nice, but it's not America. It's not America. <laughs> So, all right, yeah. So one, one last question I'll ask the both of you. What's something that these lovely people should be paying attention to in this movie? What's maybe your favorite part? Yeah. <laughs> I say, so I'm gonna take the easy one. Or of course, you gotta stick around to the end of the credits yeah. to see the final scene. Right, that's right. That's so it. Don't, don't, you know, that's, you know, that, you know why they do that? That's so that you give respect to everybody, uh, you know, from the, all the way down the yeah. And back in the day, you know, I'm a big, my favorite actor was Jimmy Cagney. And back in the day, those guys, all the credits came before the movie, and then you saw the movie. That way, you didn't get up and walk out, and you weren't disrespectful to anybody, so. I, I used to think that uh, I'll know I've made it when my name moves from the end credits to the front credits, but now we don't have front credits anymore, so. <laughs> But I'll tell you what, uh, what I think you ought to keep an eye out for is my favorite story in the, uh, all the different plots that we have tonight in Dead Men Come No Tales is Karina's, and she has a big, long story arc, and you, um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but once we start to see that she's kind of solving the problem and solving the puzzle, figuring out what the map that no man can read is, that's where I think you're getting like a really good new experience for pirates, because I think we've got... Um, some new emotions, I think, in this movie that, uh, that are not in the earlier movies. So she might be the smartest one, and this is oh, Elizabeth. She might be the smartest one that's come along in this whole franchise. I think, I think she is. I, I mean, she's a scientist. She's, she's really cool. witty. Yep. So. All right, well, gentlemen, thank you very much. Yeah. Woo! Before we say goodbye, why don't we get the photograph and you all and the audience? I think that's the idea. Be with us. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty dollars a priest. <laughs>